Zapraszam. Zagrywka Pijaka. Zagrywka Pyziaka i ze mną gwiazda argentyńskiej siatkówki Facundo Conte. Yy, witam Cię. Witam Cię. In Polish or in English? In English, please, yeah. I'm trying to, to speak more English now, you know. I know some, but it's not about interviews talking, you know. <laughs> How many years you spend in Poland? Four years, yeah. So long enough time. time. To learn Polish. Yeah, yeah, I learned, but I, I feel more confident in, 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 English, in English, you know, yeah. Okay, Facundo, after uh, Tokyo Olympics, you became, after third place, yeah, bronze medal, you became a superstar <laughs> of Argentinian volleyball. I saw on your social media how your life changed. You start to become very often to national TV, some playing piano, singing the songs. Can <laughs> so, you say something about it? Yeah, man, it was very cool. You know, it's uh, it was a big deal in Argentina. A lot of people uh, were watching us. You know, uh, also the fact that it was a 12 hours difference. You know, people should wake up in early morning or in the night to watch the games. Uh, people got really involved, you know, in, uh, in our games. Uh, the, the, the transmission uh, was also led by one good friend, Jose Montesano, and, and my father as a commentator. That they were very uh, transparent, you know, yeah, and, okay. and, and was really cool, and people got really emotional. Uh, also, because we play on eight games, we play five tie breaks. You like so, tie breaks? Yeah, we are. Yeah, <laughs> we are professional on this. So uh, games were really emotional and exciting. So people got really involved. Uh, so much people that didn't watch volleyball, they start uh, watching the, in, in Olympics. You know that is a really important tournament for every sport. So yeah. it was very interesting to see the reaction. You know, on, on people and, and and going back to. Argentina to feel this was crazy because we I arrived we arrived but uh, I'll talk about my experience um, was crazy because I would meet people around the streets or whatever and they would go like just yeah and, and hug you know and, and, and sing and scream and and this is crazy how, how long that celebrations you know was for a week two weeks well for two weeks I didn't sleep <laughs> I at all you know it was it was crazy I had the the the, the, the benefit also the, to to not play the South American championship so I had the time to really celebrate um, to come back home and celebrate with my my people in, in my friends my family my country so it was crazy it was crazy it was like the the, the the two weeks of the tournament and the two weeks after was like a it was too much euphoria, you know, it was hard to come back to life again, you know, to normal life, you yeah. know, to stand just home. Uh, the season here in Poland was, it was good, but it was really hard uh, because of that, because emotions were too high and, and I kind of feel like the, the hangover okay. of this, you know, okay. like yeah. kind of yeah. depressed because I feel fighting with the people I, I, I I know for 15 years or some we were fighting for this very long time. This is my fourth world championship. Uh, I played three Olympics, so um, I felt uh, kind of I was in the war, you know, and we won. So it it was it was just crazy, and the afterlife of, of this was really hard to. To get back in the in normal, in life, normal life with exactly. not so big, uh, you know, the emotions, yeah. Exactly, find the the right motivation again to play, to 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 go to the practice. Uh, even though I'm, I'm I spent here in Poland a long time, it was really hard to to get back here, you know, and 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 not I don't know, not speaking my language. Yeah. Uh, that's why I choose also uh, to play in Savierce because my 
good friend and brother of life, uh, Maxi Cavana yeah. was there, so uh, I kind of need this kind of connection, you yeah. know, to, to play and to feel good, so it was hard, but in the end it worked out okay. very well. May I say that Facundo family is the one of the most recognized sports family in Argentina? Because your father got yeah, you know, the, 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 the same uh, medal as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Argentina waiting crazy. a lot of years yeah, <coughs> for, for the success. Yeah, a long time. 33 years to, to have a medal again. Uh, so it was a great deal for the Argentinian sport, for the Argentinian volleyball and, and for, your family. for us in the family. Yeah, yeah. it was crazy because uh, we, we won the, the bronze medal against Brazil, 3-2 in Asia and my, the team of my father in 88 uh, won the bronze medal against Brazil, 3-2, in Seoul, also in Asia, Asia. so it was kind of magical, yeah. exactly, it was, yeah. was magical uh, experience, um, he was able to be there also, so it was amazing feeling, uh, even though the, 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 the gym and the stadium was empty, yeah. so this made it also more emotional, you know, I don't know, it, it, the, 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 the Conte 7 uh, played uh, six Olympics, uh, eight World Championships, yeah. so it's, it's amazing. Your father was on fourth yeah, World Champions, yes. four times. You are on the fourth. Exactly. Uh, the Czechko is on the fifth. Maybe he will finish. We'll see. Who knows? You want to be the, the guy who play most of five or maybe six. I'm not. I'm How not, you feel? I, I feel amazing. I feel amazing. I think I feel better uh, physically and mentally uh, now that I was feeling years ago when I was younger. Uh, but I'm not really caring about <laughs> breaking any records. You know, I just okay. want to be happy, um, like everyone does. Uh, so I. It was hard to choose to come back, you know, after Olympics I said, okay, maybe it's time to, to just put the, my, my, my t-shirt there, you know, with the medal and, and remember this like the biggest success and, and, and a big uh, experience through all my life because I'm in the national team for 15 years now. Yeah. So <clears throat> it was hard to, to decide to come back, you know, and, and the World Championship was so close, it was... Uh, just a year, a few months to prepare, so I say, okay, I have one, one more bullet, you know, in, okay. in, in, in the gun to go. Okay, yeah, after, after the season in Zavirce, uh, on national team coach gave you a few weeks, month uh, for a break, for holidays, yeah? Yeah. So you probably rest, you know, I know that you have good life balance, so what you, what you do during those yeah, weeks? Yeah, I try, I try to, 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 to find this balance, you know, yeah. because for a long time I, I've been um, living volleyball as we all do, like it's our lifestyle, you know, not just our work or but what we do, but it's a lifestyle because uh, if you don't train for a long time, you have to get back in shape. So it's, it's, it's always, uh, you are thinking all the time to not lose the shape yeah. or, or to back, come back in shape. So I took a month, a month off. Um, to exactly to, to find this this balance, you know, to have the because the season was also here very difficult, yeah. uh, even though it finished very good, and this helped me a lot. Um, so a month was was the right time uh, during VNL to not to not go uh, to to find the motivation, to rest, to 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 find the strength again, to, okay. you know, to to do it, and also to give the space. Uh, for many young guys that we have in the team that they they have very good conditions and, and it's important for them to have the space to to play to so play it's grow, yeah. exactly so now we have for example Vicentin that he just came in the team and he's playing amazing so it was very important this VNL for him to, to, yeah. to play and to show himself so right now you are here on World Championships 
you are motivated 100% for sure, yeah? Always, yeah, I, I choose to be here, you know, I'm not yeah. here just because, but I'm here <laughs> because I, I, I really want to win. Okay, so you play three games, 15 sets, <laughs> yeah, I maybe, maybe you are the, the, the team who play you know, most tie breaks on the big, you know, events like World Champions and... Probably, uh, probably. Uh, but this is what makes us uh, us, you know, because we know and we are... Uh, we know that we, are, we, we maybe don't have the strength, physical strength, uh, but we have the, the courage, you yeah. know, and, and even though we are in a bad situation with better teams than us, uh, or, or maybe we have a, a lower team than us, and we're still uh, all the time, you know, struggling. Uh, to this, I think, is it is and must be our confidence, you know, to to try to put the teams in the in, the, in under pressure. Yeah, so and it's good. In the future, probably will be better for you because right now you are, you know, the team who. Who play the you know tie breaks very big moments? One of the tie breaks was 1921 yeah. against uh, Iran. Yeah, Iran. Yeah, so, so it's crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. I game. think pressure uh, help us, you know, to to grow. Every you are time. Argentinian, so always you, you need to you need much more emotions than other teams, you know. Maybe, maybe yes. Uh, we 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 like this kind of games, you know. We we like to feel emotional. We are very emotional, and 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 we show ourselves and also other teams uh, from all the world that we are not gonna let go, yeah. you know, uh, until the last ball is is going down. I think at some point this makes other uh, teams respect us yeah. in a way, you know, because we are. We are um, courageous, you know. It's very, it's very cool to feel this in the team, and and, and I think these 15 sets, I hope, will give us the strength, yeah. you know, in the in the difficult moment, to be able to come back, even though the team is playing better than us. Um, like it happened in the Olympics, it happened also during the first phase. So I, I, I really think and believe that this is building uh, our confidence, our strength. Yeah. You know, to if, if you if win. you win against Serbia 3-0 or 3-1, I'll be in big shock. Man, three if two. we win 3-2, whatever, <laughs> we just need to win. That's the yeah. point, you know, that's every, the game is going five sets. Yeah, yeah. But I asked a lot of people and they said that your game will be the toughest one. Like uh, a lot of people said uh, five five sets, yeah. Uh, probably, I hope so. I hope the, so, because yeah. this is our comfort zone, you know, <laughs> and, and, and this is this is what I, I said before, is is our comfort zone and, and many other countries are not maybe used to be under that pressure because sometimes they, they expect to to beat uh, the, the other team easier or us easier and we are not gonna let go so uh, in these uh, pressure moments I think it's, it's building up our confidence. Yeah. You have uh, Luciano De Cecco in your team everybody knows he's a you know magic magician of the yes. of the setter setters so can you say something he's in a good shape you know how he's mental he's strong uh, he is he is he's he have shown over the years uh, that he is if not the best one of the best setters in the world um, we have the we are lucky to have him uh, he's playing his fifth yeah. world championship yeah. so it's also a very big deal because it shows uh, that his consistency you know and, and and how he grow over the years and for us it's very important we know our um, focus maybe as receivers is is to give him the best ball yeah. uh, we can to to let him play his his game, his you know, game. that every every time he played with us or in, in the club over the years has shown that he's making a difference. So yeah. for us in the Olympics, for example, we were the best team in reception. So this is a big deal because we, we made him comfortable to to and to, to, to go and, and, and play his his magic. Yeah, he's on the fifth 
Marco Podraszczanin as well. Also. So those two teams, you know each other very well. Yeah. So lot. for sure, you you don't say nothing about the tactic. I Absolutely understand. <laughs> but I'm waiting what you and the Czech uh, most uh, mostly show us because this is the you know he create the game. Yeah, he create the tactic during the game. He's so much experienced that that for sure he will figure out something to. I hope so. To, to <laughs> <laughs> we trust on that. We we relay on that, okay. you know, because he 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 is he he makes us play uh, very good. Uh, he has a, a great game, so we we relay on this. It's one of our strengths yeah. is to have him. So it's it's very important for us uh, as a team and as receivers to 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 try to to focus to to let him to give the ball to him and, and let him play because we have good mid blockers. Um, I think we're feeling somehow also the, the, the missing of Sebastian Soler, that is one of the, in my opinion, one of the greatest yeah. uh, middle blockers there are. So, um, but with his play, we can kind of um, hide this this missing uh, strength that was Seba. So, um, but your opposite Lima play very well this tournament. So, so he's he's making many points. He was the best scorer in the Olympics. Uh, so we are we are good. We have to 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 try to keep our level yeah. the highest possible for, for the for longest. Time yeah, for sure, possible. for Serbian will be the, the most you know hard game. Oh, uh, for sure, and yeah. I hope it's the last. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. How, how you how you feel uh, during the games in Slovenia because there wasn't so big crowd, yeah, on the yeah. on the games. Uh, for sure, in Poland there will be maybe 80 percent on your game, or maybe 100. Uh, we'll I don't see, know. But we'll for see. sure, much more people came. To see, you know, from Zawierce, from Bohatu, how it plays. Uh, so yeah, 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 for sure. It's you can say some to do Polish from Zawierce, you know, to fans from Zawierce. <laughs> yeah, they Polish. were very cool. They were actually when we play in in Spolik, uh, last game um, in here in Poland, the the Wagner. Uh -huh, yeah. We were hearing them, you know, the, the the cheering for us because also Danani is gonna play there, so they were kind of supporting us. Yeah. Uh, it was very cool. I I spent probably the most, um, the highest and the most um, crazy games, you know, here in in Poland. It's very special because of it. Um, that's why probably uh, they choose, they keep choosing. And Poland, of course, is also pushing to have yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> the tournaments here, you know, because they you have this this strength, this. Uh, advantage to to live volleyball uh, like this. I think it's a great show uh, to live it like this because it's not every country that has this. Uh, Slovenia in the Slovenian games, they were it, it was crowded and it was full and it was amazing. I think they made a great show, but in our games it was kind of feeling like Tokyo, you know, yeah, like yeah, empty, COVID. <laughs> exactly empty empty gym. Uh, for, fortunately, we had uh, some families, friends, or Argentinians that lived in Slovenia that came to watch us. So it was very cool, but it's it's always nicer to to have uh, a show, uh, crowd, uh, a and crowd the, in the, the gym. Supporters. Even though we won the medal without anyone, so uh, <laughs> I think for us it doesn't actually matter because we are very far from home anyway. Um, we always felt. Uh, even though we are Argentina in Poland, uh, I think we we were good received here. Also because in 2014 14. we made your your life easier <laughs> for a little <laughs> bit, uh, winning against USA. Yeah. So uh, I think in this in this moment we earn the the respect, you know, and the and and the people were very receptive and. And happy about having us every time we come here is awesome. Uh, the the um, the people receiving us, so it's it's always nice to be here. You know, to play volleyball in Poland is is always special. Okay, we know each other well. You know that I wish we you do. all the best. I hope Thank you. maybe it won't be tiebreak, but if it must be a tiebreak, just winning doesn't yeah, matter. Just win. Uh, 
and we see each other our team i hope we'll see on the you know Maybe semi-final should yeah, be the, yeah, the yeah, cross yeah. you know uh, yeah. so until the semi-final you can use my t-shirt you know that i saw you I last will, time yeah. <laughs> yeah i saw it it was amazing you know and uh, as i said before living in poland I, I i made very good friends as you and and it was amazing experience and made me feel even though i'm very, I was very far from home. I, I felt uh, a little bit like home, you know, yeah. feeling the, the the hot heart, you know, to 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 live in a place that is is, is so far and is very cold also <laughs> in the winter. Uh, but it was amazing. So thank you. I do it publicly, you know. Yeah. Thank you very much because uh, I, I really enjoy it. But I think. Uh, a lot of people in Poland loves you because of your way of play volleyball. You know, shows emotions, and oh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Cool, thank okay, you. Okay, Fagundo, wish you all the best. Thank you very yeah, much. I hope we will talk very soon after next winning. You know, happily and, and, yeah. and, and with a smile. Yeah, we'll of course. Okay, thank you very much. Well, thank you. <laughs>